Hello friends, we have a folder of images that need our help. In this folder there are photos taken at three different exposures. We are going to blend these three photos with Photomatix. Here are examples of how the photos turned out. They were taken at three different exposures on a tripod. Now let's get to work people. Open Photomatix. We are going to run a batch action since we have an entire folder of photos to blend. Select the folder containing all of these images. There they are. These photos were shot at three different exposures so we will make sure to process three images at a time. Next we need to choose a folder for the blended images to go after Photomatix has finished its process. Let's go ahead and let this baby run. I am going to speed up this part. It takes Photomatix 4 minutes to blend the exposures on 66 photos. At the end we will have 22 perfectly blended images. The interior of the space along with the exterior that is visible through the windows should all be exposed properly when this is complete. While we are waiting for Photomatix to finish, how about a joke? Do you want to know the quickest way to make money as a photographer? Sell your camera. Ha 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 ha. I really crack myself up sometimes. Well looks like Photomatix has finished processing. Let's take a look at what it has come up with. Here we go. They look blended well but still have some work to do on these. Photomatix has done a great job bringing in the outside that was visible in the darkest exposure. So here are the unblended photos in the three different exposures. And here is Photomatix blended photo. Darkest exposure. Photomatix blend. Medium exposure. Photomatix blend. Now here is an overexposed image of the back door. See how the window is completely blown out and nothing outside is visible? The underexposed photo looks fabulous outside but makes the interior a bit drab, wouldn't you say? Here is the Photomatix blended photo. Everything is visible outside and the inside isn't too dark. Now let's take a look at the living room. The overexposed photo has blown out windows. The underexposed photo shows what is visible out there, and here is the blended version with Photomatix. Welcome to the dining room. The underexposed photo has a great view of the backyard, and the overexposed photo showcases the dining room well. Photomatix has done its best to try to bring in the windows without making the interior too dark. Let's bring the Photomatix blends into Photoshop to finish them up. First thing catching my eye is that the vertical lines of the photo are not straight. Let's pull up lens correction under filter. Click on the custom tab. Now we will attempt to get our vertical lines straight using the vertical perspective slider towards the bottom. It is doing a great job making the right side of the sliding door straight but the vertical lines on the right are still a bit off. Click OK and we will fix this with Transform Skew. Pull the bottom right corner until the vertical line of the banister is straight. Okie dokie. Now let's just pull out a couple of guides to check our lines. The bottom of the door has been pulled to the right so let's pull it back. Straight as an arrow. There is just a tiny sliver of wall visible on the left side. I will use transform to just clip that off. Woohoo composition looks great. Now let's work on the brightness. It's looking a little dark. Under levels presets I will choose lighter maybe that will work. Not quite as bright as I would like it let's work on that in a minute. There is quite a bit of noise in this photo. Let's smooth it out with a plugin from Topaz Labs called Denoise. Using this plugin to get rid of the noise is a miracle. The noise is gone, but the detail is not. I love this plugin. See, would you take a look at that? We have witnessed a miracle. Smooth as a baby's bottom. 
The noise is gone but the detail is still there. Ok let's let the plug in process. I am speeding it up. This usually takes about 30 seconds. Thank you Topaz Labs. Now let's brighten this baby up. Under the levels presets we will click light and shadows. Much better. We really needed that to brighten up the image. You see that? Ok flatten the image so that we can sharpen it. Go to filter. Then to sharpen. Then to unsharp mask. Take a look at the preview window on the right. You can really see what a difference a little bit of sharpening will do on a photo of an interior space. We are finished here. Let's save it and move on. Ok we are back in the foyer. First thing to address are the shadows. That looks great but the door lost a little bit of detail and looks muddled. At a 40% opacity let's just brush in a little black to the layer mask to bring through the darker door. There. See the difference a little masking will do. It's a little too bright towards the bottom of the stairs as well let's brush a little black to the layer mask there too. Great it's blended well like a stiff margarita. Now let's straighten the vertical lines. The right side of the door is obviously slanted. Go to filter and then to lens correction. We will adjust the vertical perspective in the custom tab. Just one little swipe of the slider and everything lines up. Straight up just how I like my dirty martinis. Ok. Let's get rid of the noise in this foyer. We will use the plugin from Topaz Labs again. We are living in the future. I can't believe it gets rid of all the noise while leaving all the detail. It is especially noticeable in these dark corners. Now the only thing we have left to do is to sharpen the image. Go to filter then to sharpen then to unsharp mask. I find that these settings are best 70% at a radius of 2.9 pixels at a zero threshold. What a good looking foyer. Amazing. Well except for this little piece of wall at the left top corner. We will quickly clip that off using transform. Mommy has made it all better. Let's flatten and save our work is done here. Welcome back to the dining room. Are you planning on staying for dinner? Let's turn the lights on by choosing the light and shadows preset. I am going to brush a soft black brush on the layer mask to bring in some of the detail from outside. It's okay if you darken the interior. Just switch to the white brush and lighten it up again in those areas. See what a difference a couple clicks makes. The backyard shows through fabulously. Now let's straighten up the vertical lines in lens correction. Visit the custom tab and play with the vertical perspective slider. I am really keeping an eye on the door at the left we want to make sure that is straight up and down. That reminds me of a song. Straight up now tell me are you really gonna love me forever? Oh oh oh. Or are you caught in a hit and run? Paula Abdul would not like all the noise in this image let's clean it up for her. Go to filter then Topaz Labs then Denoise. This plugin is so mystical makes my job so much easier. It is very noticeable in the dark corners. I love you Topaz Labs. Kazam noise is gone and Paula Abdul can rest easy. Only thing left to do is sharpen the image using unsharp mask. Look at what a difference it makes in the plant. Not sharpened. Sharpened. Not sharpened. Sharpened. I can see the world so vividly now from this dining room. I can see a car. 
I don't want to see a car. Let's use the stamp tool to erase that car from our beautiful view of the backyard. Use the lasso tool to make a selection of the area you would like to stamp. This will prevent us from stamping somewhere other than the grass. We are just trying to fill in that last part of white from the car without messing with the siding. All better. We did a wonderful job on this room. Let's flatten the image and save it as a JPEG. Okay. Now let's relax in the living room. Photomatics did a great job bringing in the windows but the interior is a bit murky. Let's lighten the shadows. Now let's brush in a little bit of the outside to darken it. It doesn't make a huge difference but I am not a lazy ass and I like to make it look perfect. There. Here is what a little bit of brushing in the windows on the layer mask will do. I will pat myself on the back for that one. Pat pat pat. Now to check on the vertical straightness of this image. It isn't straight. Filter, lens correction. Now back to the custom tab to adjust the vertical perspective. That looks damn good. The right side is straight. The left side is straight. The window is straight. Okay. Let's check for noise in the dark corners. Yup there it is. Let's use the denoise plugin to kick that noise to the curb. Smooth as butter. Smooth as glass. While we are waiting for this process, how about I sing another song? Did I hear someone request more Paula Abdul? You got it. I take. Two steps forward I take, two steps back we come together cuz opposites attract and you know, it ain't fiction just a natural fact we come together cuz opposites attract. Yeah baby I love that song. Okay now let's just sharpen the image and our work here is done. You can really see how sharpening helps around the plants. Now we will flatten the image, save it as a JPEG and be on with it. Okay Photoshop thank you for your hard work today. And we can close out of Photomatix as well we are finished with that. Let's open the folder of our finished products. As you remember, here are the first images the three photos at different exposures. Then we had the photos that Photomatix blended for us. And the photos that we fixed in Photoshop. Here is the photo after Photomatix. And here is the image after Photoshop. Here is the photo after Photomatix. And here is the photo after Photoshop. Photomatix. Photoshop. Photomatix exposure blend of the living room. The living room fixed in Photoshop. Photomatix. Photoshop. Dining room after Photomatix. Dining room after Photoshop. The car is gone hooray. We did a wonderful job today. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I miss you. When I am not with you come see me again. All my love.